Hi everybody, this is Buddha Sean here. Today we're gonna to be talking about atoms and ions. So first let's start with the basics, the parts of an atom. We have a nucleus in the center and inside that nucleus we have protons and neutrons. Protons are positive, neutrons are neutral. And then around that we have an electron cloud and our electrons are gonna be found there and those are negatively charged particles. So how do you know which element is which? Well, if you look on the periodic table, you can see a square, and I blew one up here for you. This is lithium. This top number right here says three. That is called the atomic number. That number tells you how many protons are in your atom or in the nucleus of your atom, and that identifies your atom as that particular element. No other element will have the same number of protons because protons are what identifies the atom itself. So you can always see this number up top will identify your atom. So what does lithium look like? Just out of curiosity, it looks like this right here. So um, lithium does have three protons, three neutrons, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and then it's gonna have three electrons in a neutral atom. Notice I'm saying neutral atom because protons are positive and electrons are negative, so they have to equal that number in order to be neutrally charged overall. So three protons, three electrons, and a neutral lithium atom. So how many protons does boron have? Well, in order to figure that out, the first thing you gotta do is look at your periodic table. Search for boron. Boron, the symbol is a capital B. Um, you can look for it, it is right here, and you can see the atomic number is five. So we have five protons going on in boron. And this is what boron looks like. We have five protons in our nucleus. Uh, boron does have six neutrons, which again, we're gonna get to in a second. Um, and then you can see that we do have five electrons orbiting in our cloud. Um, that is equal number to our protons because this is a neutral atom of boron. How many protons are in carbon? Well, we look for carbon on our periodic table. It is a capital C. When you find it, you will see the atomic number six. So we have six protons going on in carbon, and this is what carbon looks like. Six protons are gonna be found in the center of the nucleus, and then we have six neutrons, which again, I'll tell you about in a second. And then we have six electrons going on, which is equal to our protons because positives and negatives have to equal one another in order for this atom to be neutral. Um, so an atomic number, which we've been talking about and we've been looking at on the periodic table, identifies the atoms. That's very important. Number of protons identifies the atom. If we add a proton, um, every time we add it to the atomic number, what's gonna happen is we're gonna change the identity of that atom. So if I start with hydrogen with one proton and I wanted to add another proton, I'm not hydrogen anymore. Now I'm helium and helium is number two on the periodic table, which means it has two protons in its nucleus. So you can see this little simulation here. Every time we add a proton, it's changing um, <laughs> what element it is, okay? And you can also see that we are adding an electron every single time in order to maintain it being neutral. And our atom is getting larger and larger, larger nucleus, larger electron cloud as we go up and up. So if an atom has 10 protons, what element is it? Look at your periodic table. Look for the atomic number 10 and tell me which element it is. Go ahead and pause your video. Okay, it is neon. Neon is number 10 and this is what neon looks like right here. We have 10 protons going on, 10 neutrons and 10 electrons in order to keep it a neutral element. And yes, neon is what we use in those neon signs to run electricity through to produce the light. So now here's a big breakdown of everything else that's going on on the periodic table square. We've already talked about the atomic number, which is the number of protons and the number of electrons in a neutral atom only. Okay. Um, we've already talked about uh, element symbol. Um, it's going to be a capital letter and then a lowercase letter if there's a second one. And then of course the atom name or the element name. And then the bottom is going to be our atomic mass. And this is going to be protons plus the neutrons. Okay. So how many electrons does boron have in a neutral atom? Again, go ahead and look for B for boron. You can see that um, the atomic number is five. Again, electrons have to equal protons in order to cancel each other out. If I have five positive protons, 
I'm going to need five negative electrons in order to cancel each one out and end up with zero so that I do not have a charge in that atom. How many electrons does carbon have then? Well, we found it earlier. We know it has six protons, so it also has six electrons. Okay, so what if an atom is not neutral? It's just going to be a charged particle then, and there's two different types. You can have one that's positively charged, and we call that a cation, and one that's negatively charged, and we call that an anion. Now, you're going to be able to tell whether it is which one because it's going to either gain electrons and become more negative, or it's going to lose electrons and become less negative. In other words, positive, right? Um, so, and here's just a quick diagram to show you. You start off with a neutral atom. If you lose electrons, you're going to become a cat ion which is positive and if you gain electrons you're going to be a negative anion now um, i did put in bold here this is nothing to do with the gain or loss of protons okay we are not gaining protons we are not losing um, protons in order to change our charge here we're simply talking about electrons only so we need to be able to write and understand ion notation now this center is going to be our element symbol in this case, capital B for boron is what we're going to be talking about. The bottom left-hand number is going to be your atomic number or how many protons you have. So boron has five protons. Now that's not going to change. If I have five protons, I am forever going to be boron because the number of protons identifies that it's boron in the first place. The top number is going to be your atomic mass. And remember, the atomic mass is protons plus neutrons. And then in our top right hand corner is going to be the charge and the charge um, for this boron is positively three charge. In other words, it's a cation because it's positive, which means that it had to give away or lose three electrons to be positively three charged when all said and done. So um, here's two examples for you. We have a cation uh, example of magnesium positive two. It lost two electrons to become positively charged. And then we have an anion over here, uh, phosphorus, and it gained three electrons in order to be negatively three charged. So looking at this one, we need to determine these four questions. Let's go one by one. How many protons does this ion notation have, this particular ion? Well, I need to look in the bottom left-hand corner. This 11 here is the atomic number, which is my number of protons. So it has 11 protons. How many electrons? Well, in a neutral atom, if I have 11 protons, I would have 11 uh, electrons, right? They would be equal to one another to be neutral. But this is not a neutral atom. This is an ion, and I know it's an ion because it is positively one charge. If it is a cation, positive, it means it had to give away electrons. Well, how many? It shows you right here, it gave away one, okay? So it used to have 11 and it gave away one electron, so it's left with 10. So this ion has 10 electrons. What is the name of this element? I can look on the periodic table, if you don't know, Na is sodium. And then what is, uh, what type of ion is this? It is a positive charge, which means it's a cation. Let's try another one. How many protons does this ion have? Again, we're going to be looking in the bottom left-hand corner, and it has eight. This is the atomic number, which is the number of protons, eight protons. How many electrons? Well, again, in a neutral atom, it would have eight, the same number of protons and electrons. But this is not neutral. This is an ion. We have a negative two charge which means that it gained two electrons. So if it had eight and it gained two, it's really like saying it added two, right? So we have 10 electrons in this one. What is the name of this element? O, if you look on the periodic table, is oxygen. What type of ion is this? Because it's negative, it is a anion. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, guys. Bye, everybody.